Okay, good morning class. So for today, we will be discussing the performance indicator in the hotel, which is the occupancy rate, the ADR, or the average daily rate, and rent bar. Okay, so this is the matrix that hotel use to better help us understand the hotel capacity utilization. We want to understand here what happened if our rooms are remain unsold and as we know, nga perishable na siya and we cannot sell it again. Okay, so through this performance indicator or K KPI, this helps forecast revenue for the future more accurately. So when we say KPI or key performance indicator for the hotel industry, these are the values or metrics that measure the performance of a particular area of the hotel operations or even the property as a whole. It allows the organizations or the hotel to analyze and develop significant improvement that will help to boost the property's performance. And also we will, and again, we will be discussing how occupancy rate, ADR and rev bar will be computed. Okay, and also we'll be showing here uh, the difference between the three if profit is involved now. Okay, so for today, this would be the learning outcome. Discuss the concept of occupancy rate, ADR, and rev bar. Okay, so let's define first the occupancy rate. When we say occupancy rate, it represents what percentage or the hotel are occupied at a given time. Okay, so occupancy rate, it helps measure the effectiveness of the marketing and the sales department as well as the front office in its external and internal marketing effort. Okay, so occupancy rate is calculated by dividing the total number of rooms occupied and by the total number of rooms available times 100. Okay, so muna siya occupancy rate. Basically, it determines good kung pila ang occupancy rate ana ang given night. The second one is the average daily rate or ADR. So ADR, uh, it refers to the average amount of revenue generated from each occupied room. Okay, so the hotel rooms are priced differently. It could be based on the number of beds, the locations, or other factor. Okay, so through that, ADR will help understand kung pila ang rent nga na, nga, na, nga na earned by each room through the average daily rate. Okay, this help the hotel change over time due to number of influences. It could be the influence under the season. Okay, uh, it could be an influence under the year or kanyang mga holidays. Okay, that also depend kung unsa nga type sa tourist or ang corporate market nga ang gitarget sa usa ka hotel. Okay, so uh, average daily rate, it is calculated by the total revenue divided by the number of rooms sold. I will give an example after the definition of this three KPI. The next one is the rev bar or the revenue per available room. Okay, so rev bar, this refers to revenue generated per available rooms. Kung unsa ang na-generate ka revenue kada room. Okay, mani siya ang uh, importance of rev bar. So, if a property of, if, if the property of the hotel, if nag-increase ang rev bar, ananiya, it means that the average room rate or the occupancy rate is increasing. This is very important because uh, it helps hoteliers measure the overall success of the hotel and it is calculated by this pure formula so you just have to multiply occupancy times the adr now given this example okay so we have here a hotel so the first aspect that we need to understand is how many rooms are available and in our hotel here we have 25 rooms, okay? However, one of our room is out of order, maybe for renovation. So then, we have 
24 rooms. The next piece of this puzzle is you charge your guest differently. Perhaps 2,500 for suite room, okay, 2,000 for matrimonial, 1,500 for single bed, and 1,000 for uh, discounts and promotions. So, you have to total, you have to add all these numbers, and we will become, we will be having a 15,500, which is the total revenue for that certain night. The next portion to understand is the occupancy rate. If you are going to look at this hotel, you can see again, we have 24 rooms. However, we have 10 of this room has an amount next to it which means that only 10 rooms are occupied on this particular evening or night. Therefore, you divide 10 rooms over 24 rooms to get an occupancy rate of 41.6 or 42%. Now, let's move to our ADR or the average daily rate. Here, we take our rooms, room revenue, which is 15,500, and divide it by 10 rooms sold. Okay, so now we have 1,550 per room. But again, keep in mind that this does not account for those rooms that are setting empty. As you recall, this product is perishable, meaning we don't sell our product when night will never get that night again, and we cannot sell that again. So that's when Rev Bar can be a better, better matrix to ADR. This is the formula, okay? You just have to multiply. Okay, na siya interchange kay multiplication man siya, okay? And our ADR for this example is 651. Okay, so now, let's apply this to revenue management. Okay, so... We will be apply this to revenue management, the the key performance indicator, which is the occupancy rate, the ADR, and the rev bar. Okay, so we have here a hotel named ABC Hotel. The total number of rooms available is 24 rooms and the cost or fixed cost for each room is 300. Fixed cost, this includes the, uh, this includes the electricity expense, the charge for cleaning the room and other expenses. So we're going to try to figure out a series of days which is more profitable. And we have to look at the different statistics. So here, you will learn a few statistics that are used in revenue management. We're going to look at specific week. So we're going to go with Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, okay. Mamala siya mga tentative days. Good nga. Padulong na sa weekend. And mostly, uh, especially if mga working people or mga employed, mag-look forward gina sila sa weekend. So mag-plan na sila mga vacations to... Have time with the family. Okay, so just look at these three days as the prices go up and occupancy goes down to see which they end up making us the most money. So the thing to remember here is that revenue is not profit. It is the amount of money you bring in. You can bring in a bunch of money and still you could be losing a profit. Okay, so let's look first at the ADR. So supposedly... Our ADR for Wednesday is 1,000, 1, I mean 1,000. So, ni offer kag 1,000 since there are a group of, group of people man nga ni, ni stays on a hotel. So, they had like a discount nila. Then for a Thursday, it is a little bit busier and the demand is increasing. So, ni increase po ka sa ADR which is 1,750. And on Friday, since kay bomang ka nga, taas na kaayo ang demand since and na na siya sa weekend and daghan kaayo yun ang most stay na since and mas weekend and families and those mga employee or employed personnel is mo stay good sila mo 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 have time with sila for enjoyment okay so busy holiday so mi offer kag taas nga price or the ADR which is 2500 okay so now let's proceed to the occupancy rate 
So with the occupancy, remember we have 24 rooms. So we have here, since ubos man ang price nga gihatag, so it almost full ang occupancy sa hotel. So nakay 90% since ubos-ubos man. But then on Thursday, since yung taas-taas ang imuhang rate sa room or the ADR, then 70% na lang. And on Friday, the rooms were really on pricey, but the demand is moderate, so we have 50% or half of the rooms are being occupied. Now, we will see which of this is important. Now, we get the revenue. So again, revenue, it is the amount of money you bring in. Okay? So in getting the re revenue, you just have to multiply the ADR and occupancy. Okay, so the revenue for Wednesday is 90,000. For Thursday, 122,500 pesos. And on Friday, 125,000 pesos. Okay, so the, win the winner here is the Friday. Okay, kasi man ang pinakataas ng revenue. But let's not forget na naapatay fixed cost or the uh, fixed cost per room which is 300 pesos. So in getting the cost, you just have to multiply the fixed cost times the occupancy rate. Okay, so on Wednesday, the, the cost incurred is 27,000. And then on Thursday, the cost incurred is 21,000. And on Friday, the cost incurred is 15,000. So much lesser siya since the occupancy rate is lesser man lang po siya. So less, less cost for the cleaning in the room, less, less cost for the food, less cost for the electricity. Okay, so muna siya. Makita na ninyo ang difference. Now we will go with the profit na. So, in getting the profit, you just have to deduct the, uh, you just have to deduct the revenue from the cost. Okay, so the profit on Wednesday is sixty-three thousand. The profit on Thursday is one hundred one thousand five hundred, and the profit of on Friday is one hundred ten thousand. So here you can see kung unsa good ang difference between the three. So you can see here that the revenue is the most important and reliable source for key performance indicator since na anuman niya ang duha ka per key performance indicator diba and also as you can see here even if taas ang imong occupancy rate it doesn't assure you that you will have a higher profit also okay kay of course taas ang imong occupancy rate so taas ang um, Ang cost, okay, cost on the electricity, cost on the other uh, mga supplies within the room, okay, but it doesn't mean also nga taas ang occupancy rate, less gihapon ang profit, na mga po mga certain conditions, ana, like for example, the ay daghan sila nga gi avail nga mga activities sa resort, okay, daghan sila mga gi avail nga mga activity, daghan sila gi palit nga mga souvenirs sa inyong resort. Resort or the hotel. So, of course, it will add profit to the hotel. Okay, so usap po na siya sa reason na mutaas ang profit sa hotel. And, mo disagree po siya aning ato example. Okay? So, mo na siya yung mga dipanghimo sa hotel to determine their profit. Okay? So, based on this example, this is where revenue management is really important. Although, it really feels bad to have half of your hotel setting empty, but it shows to you that it will generate more profit compared to other days that will have more occupancy. Okay, matakong kiingon. But, but take note that everyone of this is will only ap apply depending on the situation in the hotel. Okay, so muna to siya akong kiingon. Okay, so... So that ends with our discussion. I hope you understand the difference between ADR, occupancy rate, and the revenue. And also, nakita po din niyo kung how the hotel compute or forecast their demand. Okay? Kaya ang hotel man sa makibaw man na sila o kanus agin sila mo offer o discounts. Kanus po sila mo taas sa ilhang prices since mag-observe man po na sila sa market situation. Through research, through feedbacks, di ba?
okay and then also revenue or the revenue per available room is the most or important or best KPI among the two which is the ADR and occupancy since revenue na naman diha ang duha ka KPI or the key performance indicator i hope you understand with my discussions and that would be all so we will have a last topic which is the yield management and it will be discussed next week and i will also and i want also to inform you guys or class that I will be giving chances to those students who haven't passed their assignments or haven't taken the exam. Okay, but of course, there are certain deductions, so pwede siya unfair sa inyong mga classmates. Okay, so thank you everyone. God bless and keep safe.